now let's create the roof make sure you're in the roof level view and then here in the roof level view let's place the second floor plan as our underlay let's use it as our reference for our roof boundary but before that let's hide the property line and the elevation symbols to do that press vv in the keyboard twice to show the visibility graphic overrides now in the model categories tab hanapin natin ang site and then click uncheck so dito naman sa annotation categories let's find the elevations ito and then i-uncheck natin then click ok so now na-hide na yung property lines and elevation symbols Let's now show the second floor plan as underlay. Dito sa properties, in the drop down, here in the underlay panel, in the range base level, let's choose the second floor level as the underlay. And now, naka-reflect na yung second floor natin. Now, we are ready to create the roof. To create the roof, go to the architecture tab and then here in the build panel, let's click the roof drop down menu. And then we have three options to create the roof. These three options is a method depending on the roof design. But for this house design that we have, let's use the roof by footprint. Click. And then we are now ready to create the roof footprint. But let's check the roof type first. Let's create a 300mm roof, then click edit type. And then here in the type, let's click duplicate. Let's change it, its name to generic 300mm. Click OK. And then here in the structure, click edit. And now here in the assembly, let's create our roof layers. First, let's define our roof thickness to 250 mm and then let's add a finish, roof finish. So click the core boundary and then click insert and then now new layer is added. In the function, let's change it to finish and then in the thickness, let's assign it to 0 to 50 mm. Yeah, and then let's check the total thickness is 300 mm then click ok and then click ok and now we are ready to create the footprint to do to create the footprint let's click the under draw panel let's click the pick lines itong kulay green then click then after clicking that let's change the offset to 1.2 meter and then click natin yung edge, edges ng or finishes ng wall. So click, then click, click, and then here the edge of the floor. And then last here. And then now let's trim them. Press skip twice to exit the pick lens command. Skip twice. And then, to trim, press TR in the keyboard or you can click directly in the modify tab here under mod uh, modify panel ito. So now let's trim. To trim, click and then click. Then dito sa baba, click, click. And then dito, click, click. So skip twice to exit the trim command. Then as you can see, merong slope symbol. So every line na mayroong slope symbol is my slope. So let's check the value of the slope. So let's select all the lines. Then we can see the value of the slope here in the dimensions. The slope is 30 degree. So let's change it into 23. And then let's click check. Now the roof is created. Merong parang lines dito sa gitna. So let's not dwell with it now. Let's go to 3D view. 
So now ito na yung roof natin. And all sides has a slope. So here I want to form a gable. So let's go back to the roof level and then click the roof. Then let's change its boundary. Click the edit footprint. And then here, let's remove the slope. So to remove the slope, click mo lang yung line. And then here in the properties, dito sa define roof slope, i-uncheck natin. So now wala nang symbol ng slope, meaning wala na siyang slope. And since ito may slope, and then ito may slope, so gagawa siya ng gable dito na side. So click check. Then go to 3D view. So now ito, nagawa na niya. So, ganito lang if you want to create this roof design. And then, let's go back to the roof level. Let's dwell with these lines right here. No, it is, this should not be right here. This line should be connected. So, to do that, to remove this, let's change the view range because this is the roof material being cut. So, to dwell with it, let's go to properties and then here in the drop down under extent panel in the view range, click edit. And then here in the view range, the primary range in the top, let's change it to unlimited. And then in the cut plane, let's change it to higher than this dimension. So let's change it to 5 meters to make sure na hindi talaga tatamaan yung roof natin sa view range. Yan lang, yan lang yung dalawang i-change natin dito. So, let's click OK. And now, makita nyo buo na yung roof natin. Continuous na yung lines. And then, let's go back to 3D view. So, that's it. That's how you create the roof by footprint method. Now, let's make sure na ang roof natin nakapatong sa ating walls or beams if meron tayong structure. So now hindi siya naka attach. Let's create a section. Punta tayo dito sa roof. To create section, punta ka lang dito sa quick access toolbar and then click the section symbol. You can also see it in the view tab. And then here's the section. So let's use the quick access toolbar. Click And then your first click will be the location of your section head. So click. And then click right here. Now we have the section symbol. Press skip twice. And then click the section. Right click and then go to view. Now we can see our building section. Here in the roof, let's create a guide para let's move this roof down. To create a guide, we can use the DL command or detail line. Then click right here and then here. Then skip twice to exit the detail line command. And then let's click the roof. Let's move this right here. Then, let's delete this detail line. Since ang roof natin kasama na yung framing material na structure and then roof finish. Then, let's go back to 3D view. Now, we can see naka-attach na yung or nakapatong na yung roof natin sa ating wall. So, that's it. That's how you create the roof in Revit.